Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, I can't say what you all doing because I know you're all at home uh, obeying the stay at home orders and things like that. So I'm sure you're all uh, doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, what I got today for you, uh, I've had some uh, people ask about ferrite beads and noise elimination. So I thought I would go ahead and try to show some of that. Okay, so let me find a spot here where there's nobody, nobody talking and get over here. Here's my drum kit in the shop where we jam if we need to. And if you notice, it's only hooked up to the amplifier or to the amplifier to the, to the head. The head is actually off. Okay, because I was trying to find out where all that noise was coming from. And with the head off, I found out, okay, it's coming in straight through the amplifier. So let me go ahead and, and hit this at 100 watts. And I'm going to point this over here to see if you can hear the noise. That's a lot of noise, N5SIM. So that's a lot of noise. How do you get rid of that? Well, we're going to get rid of that by using what are called ferrite beads. Okay, ferrite bead. Now this one's got a pretty big hole. This one you can wrap, uh, I can get four turns of a, a quarter inch cable through there. And then we have some that are just about big enough for one RG8 coax or, you know, two turns of RG58. But um, let me go ahead and get set up here to wrap some ferrites around this cord, which is the, which is the input to the amplifier. And we'll make sure and see if the noise is getting in through that, that cable. So I'll be right back. Okay, back again. So let me grab this cable. Remember that was the red one that was plugged in. I'm going to take this big ferrite. And I'm going to try to get four turns out of this uh, input cable. I think I should. I, I should be able to get four turns in the three... I should get, be able to get four turns per side. I think that's about the size of these. Get it up in there. And there we go. Are we getting there? Oh, yeah, it's coming. There, it's click. Click, I think. Yep. Okay, so let's see. Get that in there like that. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to look four turns, right? You know, four turns around the ferrite and then clamp it together. And then we're going to stick this into the into the amplifier again, and we'll go over and transmit again and see how much noise, if any, we got out to see if ferrite beads actually work. So be right back. Okay, so we got it plugged in here. Again, this is our four turns ferrite bead. Comes up and around, goes up here, comes up and goes to the head. So let's get off of the throne, get over here and see what happens now interesting see if it, anything does happen same 100 watts nobody talking there so let me get over here and let's see if you can hear anything as i key this barely anything i mean really wow that's really quiet okay so i could put another four turns or let's go over here and snap on a couple more of these smaller ones and see if they help mitigate anything as well now on the smaller ones, there, there's one, see they slide. So the idea is you want to get them tighter to the cable. I wonder if I could run two turns, but let's see here. Let me get that up there and let me just lay that there so that it's kind of on the cable. Let's go back around here and see exactly what happens. See how that mitigates that other, that other hum. Again, 100 watts. And I probably should get my call sign when I do this. Oh, I hurt. Wait, they slid. Yeah. Well, even with them sliding down, you hear the thump, right? Let me get a little closer. But there's just nothing there. It's really, it's really gone. Okay, so I, I put a couple more at the top. And you can see over there to the right, I've got one with one wrap around it. So, you know, let's see just what will happen all right again here we go let's see got the old flex running got to get my mouse in the right place to transmit n5 sim test 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 wow i mean that's if i were playing 
I'd be happy with that. <laughs> Go back to the beginning of the video and listen to what it was. So anyway, um, ferrites can do a lot of things and depending um, on what type of ferrite you use and uh, exactly what's going on with your noise, um, you'll, you'll get it out. You have to experiment. You have to just experiment and play a little bit. I've got them on all my stuff up here on this bench. Any of my leads I have them on. I have them over here, even on this this voltmeter. I've got I've got some small ones on the voltmeter. It uh, you know it helps take out any kind of RF noise when you're transmitting and measuring things. So that's always a a good thing. All right. Well, just remember to click like and subscribe to the channel. I'll try to have some more videos for you uh, later on.